Welcome back. This video is going to be a very quick video looking at um, Windows updates in group policy. How do you get here? You basically type in GP edit. Okay. And then click on there and it brings you up to the local group policy editor. Where we need to go in here is basically Windows components, administrative templates, Windows components. And then towards the bottom, you should see Windows update. Click on that. You get here. I'll just now increase that. Okay, now it's a slightly more detailed way of setting how Windows updates works. Okay, you can basically change the certain settings like do not display, install updates and shutdown. Okay, that's a nice option. Okay, you can power management to automatically wake up the system. Okay, for example, you put the system to sleep. It kind of like wakes it up suddenly at 5 a.m. in the morning to suddenly just start doing Windows updates. Okay. Always automatically restart at the scheduled time. Okay. That's fine. Configure automatic updates. This is a little bit nicer. Okay. If we click on enabled, you can then choose what are the settings that you want. Okay. When do you want the schedule updates, etc. Okay. All right, you can defer upgrades. Okay, you can specify, for example, instead of using the Microsoft's, shall we say, update servers, you can use your own on the local internet. For example, if you have Windows Server or whatever configured and it's basically got the updates ready on there, you can connect to it. So basically, you can give the server name and the internet statistics server. They can be both the same name. Okay, if you have the settings for an internet Windows update system. Okay. That's for perfectly happy. Okay. Um, automatic updates, detection frequency that can be changed. Okay. How often do you want it to keep looking for updates? Okay. Do not connect to any Windows update internet locations. If you want to basically stop it going to the Windows update service full stop and going there, you can make sure it's working with that you've specified a local internet. Okay. All right. Allow non-administrators to receive update notifications. If so, if you're not admin, you can say updates need to be installed. Okay. Turn off software notifications. You can turn that off. Okay. Um, basically allow automatic updates, immediate installation, basically right now. Okay. As soon as it finds the, the updates are available, it instantly goes there. Okay. Basically, if you set it to disabled, such updates will not be installed immediately. So this is actually quite a nice way to stop updates being installed immediately. Okay. All right. Um, turn on recommended updates. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. A delay restart for scheduled installations. And you have the prompt for restart with scheduled installations. That's quite nice. You can change the timings. Okay. When it's got all the updates on here you will get messages sometimes saying need to restart in 15 minutes you can change that to 30 minutes you can change the restart system okay so that's quite nice over here okay this is a very simple video on how to use the group policy editor for windows updates thank you for watching